In 180 AD, Roman general Maximus Decimus Meridius intends to return home after he leads the Roman army to victory against Germanic tribes, near Vindabona on the Limes Germanicus. Emperor Marcus Aurelius tells Maximus that his own son, Commodus, is unfit to rule and that he wishes Maximus to succeed him as regent to restore the Roman Republic. Wishing to seize power, Commodus secretly murders his father. Commodus proclaims himself the new emperor and requests loyalty from Maximus, who refuses. Maximus is arrested by Praetorian guards led by Quintus, who tells him that he and his family will die. Maximus kills his captors and, wounded, rides for his home near Turgalium, where he finds his wife and son dead. Maximus buries them and collapses from his injuries. He is captured by slave traders, who take him to Zucubar in the Roman province of Martania Caesarensis, where he is sold to gladiator trainer Proximo. Maximus reluctantly fights in local tournaments, his combat skills helping him win matches and gain popularity. He earns the nickname, the Spaniard, and befriends Juba, an African gladiator from Carthage. In Rome, Commodus organizes 150 days of gladiatorial games to commemorate his father and win the approval of the Roman people. Upon hearing this, Proximo reveals to Maximus that he was once a gladiator who was freed by Marcus Aurelius and advises him to win the crowd to win his freedom. Proximo takes his gladiators to fight in Rome's Colosseum. Disguised in a masked helmet, Maximus debuts in the arena as a Carthaginian in a reenactment of the Battle of Zama. Unexpectedly, he leads his side to victory and wins the crowd's support. Commodus and his young nephew, Lucius, enter the Colosseum to offer their congratulations. Seeing Lucius, Maximus refrains from attacking Commodus, who orders him to reveal his identity. Maximus removes his helmet and declares vengeance. Commodus is compelled by the crowd to let Maximus live. That evening, Maximus is visited by Luso, his former lover and Commodus' sister. Distrusting her, Maximus refuses her help. Commodus arranges a duel between Maximus and Tigris of Gaul, an undefeated gladiator. Several tigers are set upon Maximus, but he prevails. At the crowd's desire, Commodus orders Maximus to kill Tigris, but Maximus spares his life in defiance. In response, the crowd chants, Maximus the Merciful, angering Commodus. To provoke Maximus, Commodus taunts him about the murder of his family, but Maximus resists the urge to strike him. Increasingly paranoid, Commodus instructs his advisor, Falco, to have every senator followed, and refuses to have Maximus killed for fear he will become a martyr. Maximus discovers from Cicero, his ex-orderly, that his former legions remain loyal. He meets in secret with Lusso and Gracchus, an influential senator. They agree to help Maximus escape Rome to join his legions in Ostia, topple Commodus by force, and hand power back to the Roman Senate. The Praetorians arrest Gracchus. Lusso meets Maximus at night to arrange his escape, they share a kiss. Commodus becomes suspicious when Lucilla's son, Lucius, innocently hints at the conspiracy. Commodus threatens Lusso and Lucius, and has the Praetorians attack the gladiators' barracks. Proximo and his men sacrifice themselves to enable Maximus to escape. Maximus is captured at the rendezvous with Cicero, where the latter is killed. Commodus demands that Lusa provide him with an heir. He challenges Maximus to a duel in the Colosseum to win back public approval, and stabs him before the match to gain an advantage. Despite his injury, Maximus discerns Commodus during the duel. After Quintus and the Praetorians refuse to help him, Commodus unsheathes a hidden knife, Maximus overpowers Commodus and drives the knife into his throat, killing him. Before Maximus succumbs to his wound, he asks for political reforms, the freedom of his gladiator allies, and the reinstatement of Senator Gracchus. As he dies, Maximus envisions reuniting with his wife and son in the afterlife. His friends and allies honor him as a soldier of Rome, at Lucilla's behest, and carry his body out of the arena. That night, Juba visits the Colosseum and buries figurines of Maximus' wife, and son at the spot where he died.